APEC parking ceremony where the die stands, where the Holy Father will emerge. So activities, all, all activities will happen as soon as uh, the plane comes to a stop. These are live pictures of the visit to Papua New Guinea by the Holy Father for Pope Francis. It'll be a four-day visit. Everybody at the airport is taking it all in. All eyes are focused on, on that Airbus, no doubt, and people outside as well. So are we here at the media center, and I'm sure everybody else who's watching. That's the site at Jackson Airport in Port Mosby. Quite a memorable site, the visit to Papua New Guinea by Pope Francis. He'll be here on Saturday and Sunday. A number of uh, engagements are, are planned. He also visits Vanimo in the Sundown province. You know, some of the details, uh, Archbishop, the uh, population of Catholics in the world stand at, stand at 1.39 billion. And in Papua New Guinea, 96% of Papua New Guineans are Christians. And out of those, 30% of Papua New Guineans are Catholics. And that represents about 2.5 going on to 3 million people. And that's according to the 2012, 2011 rather census, and it's now almost 13 years. Then we've that sen those sen that census has never been updated, so that number could have increased. We could guess it and still get it right. Yes, John. Uh, the population continues to grow. Yes. And uh, one of the challenges in Papua New Guinea, we never get ourselves right with our census, but we do know that uh, in the families there expanding and the challenges of school fees, feeding, and of course our schools and our uh, health centers, these are the ones that measure how much are we ca uh, catering for all our people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, Archbishop. A Garuda Airbus bring in the Holy Father into Port Mosby. The papal flag is flying as a normal protocol requirement. And coming from Indonesia, uh, a country, an Islam country, Buddhism and Hinduism are strong. And the population there, 383 million people out of those only 8.3 million are Catholics in, in Indonesia. And in Papua New Guinea, as we alluded earlier, 30% of the how many people we have right now, and as we said, the census is not updated, 30% mm -hmm. are Catholics, but 96% of the people are Christians. Garuda Airbus, on board the Holy Father, Pope Francis.
it would be a different uh, arrival if it was sunlight or oh, sunset. Uh, you, you'd, you'd have people hanging off branches and on rooftops. Uh, and I'm not quite sure whether that's happening right now. It could be. It's dark, so we can't see. <laughs> I'm sure people are uh, seeking some vantage points to have a sneak preview of the arrival. There you are, the, uh, the Vatican flag and the PNG flag. How about that? It is, looking at that picture, it is a, uh, a picture of, uh, uh, if it's not excitement, then it is a one of anticipation of what might be, what might happen, what might be said, what might be the outcome when it's all over. At a time when Papua New Guinea is going through some difficult times, difficult times of law and order, difficult times of hardships, difficult times politically, You might also have to consider at this point with the advancement of uh, information communications technology that a lot of people are having personally following what is going on, which is before you would have a radio only or a TV for a big group of people. But now, given the personalized uh, technology, everyone is to themselves watching what is going on. <laughs> We've come of time, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. Oh, yes, we have. So when, in, when the aircraft is parked and the engine stopped and when the Holy Father emerges and his entourage, people there to greet him and, uh, and, and follow through the protocols, will, as we said, the Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable John Rosso is already there representing the government and the people of Papua New Guinea to welcome the Holy Father. And with him are a number of ministers, including the Honorable Justin Chechenko, the Minister for Foreign Affairs. And he's there in his capacity as welcoming uh, a dignitary from another country who's the head of state as well. There also, no doubt, will be other government officials, members of the Honorable Paul Spako. It's also there. He will be, he's kind of hosting the Macau District of the National Capital District. That National Capital District, so he's the governor here, he's there to welcome him. And the people, the traditional landowners and the people here, the Motukoi Tabo, are represented. There at the, i at the airport by Gary Toka Jr., the chairman of the Motu Kwaitaba, Motu Kwaitabu, Motu Kwaitabu. And then of course for representing the public servants out there is Ivan Pomala, the Chief Secretary to GAFI, and also the Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Elias Wahengu. On the Vatican side, there is, of course, uh, His Eminence, Cardinal Sir John Ribbon, representing the, uh, the Archdiocese of Port Mosby, playing host to the, to the visit by the papal. And then, of course, you will have the representatives of the Apostolic Nuncitra. That's like the embassy of the Vatican Embassy here in Port Mosby, in Papua New Guinea. You also have uh, His Excellency Otto Sepp, uh, Sepre. He's the Bishop of Berena and the President of the, uh, the Catholic Bishops' Conference. A little bit dark out there, and of course out of the tarmac you don't have lights. Like you, uh, if, if it was a uh, day time then it would be very clear, but. Yes, it's a, uh, somebody switched on some lights there. Wow, I said the magic word, did I? 
there's the uh, the crew that was responsible for flying the Holy Father from Jakarta in Indonesia to Port Mosby in Papua New Guinea. A trip that took almost five to six hours. We're waiting for the, t for the moment when all will be cleared for uh, disembarkation of the people on board. And just in front of the aeroplane, the Airbus is a little, almost like a, a smaller miniature um, uh, Toyota. But it is specially fitted for the uh, Holy Father to be driven from there to a New Guinea hill. Now these are the Mekio, uh, Mekio dancers, Mekio performers who uh, are, are there to welcome. And, and, and I think it, it was done in the previous visits by uh, the, the, the uh, Pope John Paul II. And on his two visits here, the Mekios had gone out there and had performed and had welcomed. These pictures are coming to, to you live, wherever you are. Live from Jackson's Airport in Port Mosby. The Garuda Airbus that has just flown in, has flown in, the Holy Father and his entourage and landed at Jackson's Airport a few minutes ago. It's been a long flight, and I'm sure he's had a pretty long day in Indonesia. So from here, there are no other programs planned. As he uh, steps down from the plane, he will take the guard of honor, say hello to the dignitaries there, take the guard of honor, and then will be taken to a New Guinea hill, where the apostolic Nuncio Sitra is. That's the embassy of the Vatican. And these are some of the clergy out there. Archbishop, you, you know them. Who are they? What we just see a while ago is uh, the president, Bishop Otto Sapari, the Bishop of Brena. He's the uh, president of the Catholic uh, Bishops' Conference. And uh, was standing to his back was uh, Bishop Joseph Rosinski. OK. Uh, the Bishop of uh, Wiebeck and uh, all the others, uh, the rest, all, everybody, I think at this point is nothing much they can say. They're just looking just sort of watch. and just taking it in. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So they've obviously opened two doors. One at the back, I take it, will be the entourage, the, the accredited uh, media will come out will come out of there some security personnel then in the, what in the, the steps in the front will be where the holy father will no doubt will be guided down and there's some of the uh, members 
part of the entourage coming down at the back end. And if there are media people, they will no doubt, they will no doubt circle the front to take pictures. That's what they came for, and they're not going to miss this opportunity. And in Papua New Guinea, we offer a different kind of reception with the young Makio uh, dancers who are dressed up in front. Here are some members of the security, uh, the security personnel making sure that uh, the Holy Father is safe. Trained personnel, so they are uh, swift into action. Now, some members of some, some of our dignitaries, as well as the two Mekio girls dressed in Mekio dress, will welcome the Holy Father. Is there any specific order uh, under which uh, the bishops uh, go to meet uh, the Holy Father there? Um, were, they, uh, were they picked, were they chosen, or how, how is that arrived at? Uh, John, what is uh, happening is all the bishops are invited to be present for the, uh, for the uh, arrival to greet the Holy Father uh -huh. because uh, in, in most cases, he is the, uh, what we refer to as the supreme pontiff, who is the overall boss. And everybody, we normally every five years, we have to go and give an account on how you're running your diocese or archdiocese. And so he is also keen to meet each one. And uh, recently we just met him in, uh, in Rome last year. And uh, now when he comes and see the bishops or meet the bishops on their own turf, it's a bit of a different uh, experience for the Holy Father as much as for the bishops themselves. So in that regard, there is no, uh, of course, we have the Cardinal uh, and the, uh, uh, the Chairman of the Bishops Conference, the President, and then the rest. That's about it. We'll be having also a few others who arrived. The other cardinal from Tonga and another archbishop from Fiji and uh, from New Zealand who just felt that this because we are making Papua New Guinea as representing the Oceania. And so these other bishops felt that they have to be here to represent in their four conferences, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, and CPAC is all the nations in the Pacific Ocean and Papua New Solomon Islands. So this is why we, we, we are hearing the, refer the referral or the references that this visit uh, is a pastoral and apostolic visit of His Holiness uh, for Francis to, this, uh, to Asia and Oceania. And we, Papua New Guinea, seems to be at the, the borderline between Asia and uh, Oceania. Yeah. Well, where the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Where the bridge. We'll break into a little bit of pigeon here, um, uh, Archbishop. Online blog up on again. You may talk with us. This la balus, a karim po po sa di kam luki mipla kam lo country blo mipla and balus e kam pon down with us na online or big la line blog gapman na lo tu tu holy gold place balus long. Go kiss him, him. Talk welcome long him, like kiss him, him. Now, him by, he got plenty of program. Long him, long work him, long Port Mosby, long Saturday, na Sunday. Now, two him by go long 
Vanimol or West Civic Province. You go look him all some little missionary who sat only come long place where M come long M. M come long one blah South American country only call him Argentina. Now this little missionary or some little sister or all walk line all come long up. Now you look all same old line here. He come down the front then M all some blah all line who said he come on them M. I think only come past long. Ready long end by come down. Me blow wait yet. I'll go to look look strong, Archbishop. <laughs> John M. Despella Balus. You know, one kind of semol balus, you miss a look him long kind of semi got triple all exit, yellow backside, long front, nothing long side to go too long. Left hand, you can look him. So, you look at semol got a man, you look the sole now, which one by Papa Santu come out long him. Only father by come long this la.
Minenza, Minenza. Prego, prego. prego. Seguite. Seguite Melania. Prego. La ragazza è lì. Prego. Lei resta.